here you can see I've wrapped the lower lip of the front bumper. I did this a couple of days ago. Um, I did film it, but I deleted the footage by accident. So um, I'm actually redoing it today. One, because it's it's coming off underneath where I didn't uh, adhere it down properly. And also, as you can see, I did it straight. I'll come down straight instead of following this line here. Uh, I did it because I just wanted to be different and try something different, but I actually don't like, don't like how it looks. So uh, I'm going to redo it today and hopefully I won't delete this footage. What I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to take the little grill off, this lower grill, take the grill off, um, peel off the old wrap and then we will uh, cut another piece to shape and size and uh, try and stick it back down. Hopefully it will look a bit better this time. There we go, that's the grill part off. This bit should be quite easy. Let's find the corner. Uh. Well, that didn't come off as easy as I thought, so I'm going to grab the heat gun, give it a bit of heat, and then try and pry it off that way. Heat gun at the ready. This isn't coming off anywhere near as easy as I thought. I want to finish this off camera to save you having to watch it because it's boring. And there we have it, it's all off. So I'm going to go and get the next piece of wrap, which I've cut already, um, and we're going to attach that on, heat it up, smooth it out, try to get rid of the air bubbles, and we'll see how this turns out. Right, I've got my piece of vinyl, all well, not really cut to shape, but it's cut to be long enough. It's going to come out to about here somewhere like that so then I can and same on the other side so that I can um, cut it to, to fit rather than trying to fit a piece of vinyl that you know doesn't really fit where it's supposed to be. I've cleaned this off and dried it off. It's all clean and dry ready to go. I know the car's filthy but I've cleaned this lip up so it, it'll stick. So now I'm gonna uh, peel the backing film off this um, attach it to one side work my way along just sort of padding it on slot uh, very uh, very lightly and then uh, we'll try and get the heat gun on it which we've got over here get the heat gun on it go across and use my squeegee which I've got one here 
just to sort of smooth out any air bubbles um, and we'll try and tuck it into this lip here so that it doesn't uh, show when the grill's back in. Also, side note, if you do ever try this yourself, make sure you've got a protective film over here. This is a proper 3M one uh, that my pals lent me. Uh, this is also his vinyl as well. We had left after uh, wrapping the roof of his Corsa. But um, yeah, make sure it's got a nice, nice smooth finish to it else you'll, you'll scratch the actual vinyl. Um, and these do come with, uh, you can see it there where the plastic bit's peeling off. It's got a protective film over it so that you don't scratch it too bad. Um, but obviously if you, you ever look into doing any vinyl yourself, you'll, you'll know that anyway. Right then, here goes nothing. Try and peel the backing, plate, uh, the backing film off first. Just like that. Like I said, we're going to stick this side down first and then work our way back across the bumper, which you'll see. The wing's picking up a little. I've gone off course. Now luckily, you can pull this stuff off to, re to redo it if you need to, which is always good because no doubt you'll make mistakes on your first couple of attempts. And there we go, that's better. bit of excess off this other side to try and stop the wind from blowing it off. Um, you need a sharp knife as well when you're doing this. A blunt one is just going to make your life a lot more difficult. So let's get the squeegee out somewhere like this. Now, I will say before I do start doing this, I am by no means a professional. I've only ever done that front lip once. I helped my mate with his roof um, after watching numerous videos on YouTube, but by no means a professional. And I by no means know what I'm doing. I'm winging this, as I always do. But what I'm going to do now is just smooth this down, try and get as many air bubbles out as I can. Um, and also, before I've applied the heat, I can peel this off if I need to at any point because of air bubbles or anything like that or creases in the, the actual film itself uh, and then once we've heated it it shrinks it down and takes any excess heat uh, excess air out with the heat so here goes nothing
brought you back over this side so you can sort of see what I'm doing. You can't really see from over there. So it's giving it a bit of heat, uh, pushing all the air out, and uh, yeah, we'll try and try and get this side sorted because that's the other side's pretty much done. Right, I'm going to apply a bit of heat to this whole section because uh, I need to take it off and I need the, the film to be a bit more pliable. of excess off because it's flapping around and not really doing much. You've got to be careful not to cut the paintwork. Score that. Applying the heat because if you don't then the, the film can actually snap because it's quite cold today. Um, and the, we don't want the film to snap because I haven't really got any more. So I think that's pretty much sorted. What we're going to do now is use the back edge of this, this side, to just push the film behind there. There's a little groove where the grill sits. I'm going to push that into there, make a nice little ridge for it there. And then we've got somewhere to run the knife along to uh, give it a nice straight cut. And then um, basically just trim the edges off because obviously we don't want it looking like that. It's got to come down and follow this line. A little bit of heat again. done now I've only come so far with pushing it in there um, because I need to trim down here and come back across then I can push the rest of this edge in underneath this uh, little groove here same on this side I'm gonna trim this piece off get the shaping right and then I can tuck this in so that it goes under the grin and it's hidden there's the one corner done uh, what I've done is cut the excess off Oops drop the camera. I've cut the access off there and up here so I've pushed it into the groove a bit more. Um, now what I'll do is after I've done the other side I'll run a blade in there just in inside there across where it needs cutting off and trimming uh, which is pretty much all along you know it'll be all the way along. Um, I've cut the excess off the edge uh, on this side, I just need to trim a little bit of this so that I can um, get it to push into the groove a little bit more. I'm going to apply some heat just to help me out a little bit. Uh, there 
as you can see now, I'll get it for you. It's all pushed into the groove there nicely. Uh, like I say, I am by no means a professional and uh, I'm completely winging everything that I'm doing with this. So uh, now it's time to run the knife through that groove. Uh, try and cut it nice and far back so that when you put the grill back in, it won't won't be seen on the front lip, sort of across here. Um, and also the grill will help to to hold it in place, hopefully anyway. So uh, let's get let's get cut in. Start back this side. I think that's all trimmed. Should be able to just peel this off. Okay, so that's that bit done. I'm just going to apply a little bit more heat across here uh, to try and tuck the wrap in a little bit more. And then we should be able to fit the grill back in. Okay, so I've finished uh, messing about with the wrap. Um, I can't get it 100%. It's no, nowhere near what the other one was like. The other one was a lot easier um, on the corners where that, <coughs> where this curved piece is down, down the front here. But girl's ready to go back in. So let's push this back in and see how it looks. and we'll have a look and there we have it now that it follows the uh, the curvature lines down this side and down this side I think it looks a lot better uh, than just being straight cut yeah I think it looks looks loads better I was just trying to be different but different isn't always good or easy so uh, that's for that I'm happy with how that one turned out now uh, it does look a lot better if I'm honest, it's not best, it's not great, and I don't really expect it to last too long. I think water's going to ingress into a lot of the uh, the ridges and creases that I couldn't get out, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. With it being payday yesterday, I ordered a few little things uh, modification-wise, so we've got a couple of a couple of things coming uh, next week. So I will uh, I'll post a video up when they arrive. And then hopefully next weekend we can uh, get them bad boys fitted. Right, one more little thing I can show you that I've done. Um, it was my birthday the other day and I had some, uh, one of the little presents I had off a mate of mine was some heater dials. Now in the standard STs, these are the ones that are normally in there. And they're alright, they're cool. We've got some of these installed now. So as I said, I've got a couple of uh, modifications coming over the next uh, five days. So uh, stay tuned, hit the bell button and subscribe and uh, you'll be notified when they arrive. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.